Hey YouTube, this is Mark Schuyler with Westy Travels. I'm sitting in the box turtle right now. Just finished a small project that uh, I can't believe it's taken me this long to do. I have finally installed uh, four USB uh, connections here, USB ports, back in the camper part of the van. And I want to tell you a little bit more about why I did this. I usually like my voltmeter in up front. Of course, I could use and sometimes do use one of these. Um, and I know you can get more than just two ports. They make a larger one that has four. But when you're all the way back here in the camper part, it doesn't do you a lot of good to have your USB connections there. You want something in the cabin, the camper cabin area. And this is the solution camper van culture uh, they made a nice little grate little metal grate uh, it replaces the original here and you can see that um, they've got um, well originally I'll be honest with you they sent me this which I felt was useless it's a 12 volt cigarette lighter for one of these and just the other one that came with the product is the um, two USB ports. I went online looking for another one of these, a pair, a twin, so I could have four USB ports, which I need more than this 12 volt lighter. And I found that Blue Sea Systems, who makes this product, actually has a seriously better product than what came from Camper Van Culture. I love their great, and I'll use this for right now, but they sell a 4.8 eight amp um, pair that they're each 4.8 amps as opposed to just 2.1 amps on the uh, original camper van culture blue sea model that they ship and i brought the product labeling out here because i want you to see that it says it's intelligent device recognition maximizes charge for phones tablets and other mobile devices so I, I guess what that means is if, if it can't take, your device can't take the full 4.8 amps, it'll scale it down. But um, I think, uh, especially move future proofing, the 4.8 amps is gonna be a lot better for me than the two 2.1 ampers. Um, so I do have a USB here on my new inverter, just a single port and it is incredibly inefficient to power a device by turning on the inverter. Uh, that's a massive waste of energy. And when you only have a 100 uh, watt hour Battleborn battery, like I do, uh, you just don't want to waste anything. So, um, you know, it's much better to uh, charge through these DC direct ports than going to an inverter, which is going to take the DC, move it to AC, and then you put in your USB, which moves it back to DC. Yeah, not too smart. A lot of energy loss in each of those conversions. So, um, yeah, fantastic product. Took me only a few hours. This grate is really high quality. It perfectly matches the brown uh, that I have and I know they make it in gray as well. So check the link uh, uh, that I'm going to provide down in the description. Um, I don't think you can get this. I checked. I don't think you can get just the great and then order from Amazon these guys. Um, but at least, you know, nothing wrong with this one. Um, just little lower charging rate, half half the rate, a little less than half, and then this upgraded model. You know, it's probably worth uh, my taking a second and unscrewing that just to show you the little wiring loom that I created. I did follow Camper Van Culture's uh, advice. I'm creating a little tripod here. I followed their advice regarding, um, let me get that a little flatter. Okay, uh, creating a little wiring loom they have a nice video about how to do this whole process. So I'm just going to take out the old screws. Give me two seconds here. And I'll show you that wiring loom. Kind of proud of it. I use these Wago connectors uh, that are super cool. A lot of electricians are starting to use them. 
instead of um, the typical butt connectors. So I will pull this out and I've created enough wire so that if I need to, I can pull it out for just this purpose. Okay, so you can see I've got a 20 amp fuse on here as well on the positive side. And um, I can, um, you know, uh, do these kind of quick connects here. And it all connects into my new install via the, um, the little, uh, oh my God, I'm having a, a senior moment. And I lost my positive. Okay, so I put everything back and I just wanted to share a few final thoughts with you about this product. Um, I may eventually uh, get rid of the 2.1 amp um, and replace it with the 4.8. Um, the, the one consideration is these things are selling for about $50. They were on sale when I bought this just a week ago. Uh, they were down to $40. But the whole product from Camper Van Culture is $64. Of course, that includes the slower USB uh, dual port and the grate and the cigarette lighter that I have no use for. So, you know, this thing is nearly the price of the whole unit from Camper Van Culture. So that's probably why they did not include this. It would make the whole thing seem pretty pricey. But if you really are interested in charging quickly and well, this and future proofing, I think the 4.8 is a no brainer. But I'll live with this for right now. Uh, one other little issue that's more for the geeks and the techno people out there. I did look on the back, uh, the information here on the back of the product, and it talked about the vampire draw. The parasitic current draw is one milliamp, and that's incredibly small, and that's on this more advanced higher amperage charger. But on this... Um, much slower charger because that light is always going, always going, even when you've got the cap covering it so it's not uh, bothering you at night. Um, it's it's going on under there. It's, it's burning. And so it uses 15 milliamps of parasitic draw, 15 times as a parasitic draw. So even though the parasitic draw is incredibly small, it's 15 times that of the other. So when you have a little battery, you don't want that at all. Um, so, yeah, I think I covered a lot of what I set out to cover. Um, I am tying this in with those positive and negative wires to my bus bars on my system. See my video about the whole solar upgrade install. And, um, yeah, be sure to use your fuses. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me a question and go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Westy Travels, and I'm going to be showing you uh, another install where I replace the clock on the OEM clock. Uh, right now, it's perfect, but in the winter, you can't read it. It gets all crystallized and um, Camper Van Culture sells a product replacement, drop-in replacement with a video install, how to do it. And so I also purchased that at the same time that I picked up this product. Um, yeah, so stick around and I'll see you in that video. Bye now.